Bodine 52, how are you folks? Well, some people have been telling me you've had that Mustang seat on your 2018 Ulta Limited for just about a month. What say you? What is the outcome? Do you like it? Do you not? This is it. I'll show you the seat a little bit right here. It is a one-piece seat with driver backrest from Mustang. Uh, it's been a pretty awesome seat so far. Let me show you both sides of it. I'll tell you what, let's do this. Let's take some measurements. Let's compare it to the Harley Davidson stock seat. Let's look at the quality and then let's take this thing for a ride. And I'll tell you about the 1500 miles that I have on it now. We are in the Bodine 52 garage. And as you can see, I have two seats here. This is the stock Harley Davidson seat for my 2018 Ultra Limited. And this is the Mustang Super Touring seat. Model on this model number on this thing is 79566. So what I want to do for you um, with the seat off the bike is show you really three things. One is the dimensions of the seat, because they are different. I want to show you what the backrest looks like and how that really fits up on both seats. And then I'm going to flip the seats over and show you the quality of this Mustang seat and how it differs from the Harley Davidson stock seat. All right, here we go. So I'm going to start with some dimensions on the stock seat. And uh, first thing we're going to do is we are going to take a measurement from front all the way to the back which is 30 and a half inches on the stock seat and from the front to the back it's 30 and a half inches on the Mustang seat obviously that's what it's going to take for it to fit right so that's the one measurement that's the same so um, as you know one of the benefits of this Mustang seat is that it actually sits you back they say an inch and a half so let's prove that right um, but if it sits it back an inch and a half it's got to impact the passenger, right? So if you got your bride like I do, Mrs. Bodine, on the back of the bike, I mean, it could be a problem. So let's measure, right? So let's start with the Harley seat. From front to back on the Harley seat is about 11 and a half inches. From the front to the back on the Mustang seat is it really, believe it or not, just about the same, a little bit shorter. But you can see the width, 14 and a half inches, the width, 15 and a half inches. Okay, so the biggest thing to me in getting the seat in addition to the quality was how much further is it gonna sit me back, right? That's what I need at six foot three on my Ultra Limited is a real reason that drove me to get this seat. So I am going to now measure from the front of the seat on the Harley, I'll do the same thing on the Mustang to where your back is going to be, right? So if I look at the Harley, it is roughly 15 and a half inches. If I do the same on the Mustang seat, it's right there, folks, 17 inches. It is an inch and a half further back. There's no doubt. Okay, so one of the things that um, also creates a problem on the Harley seat and I'll, and I'll compare that to the Mustang seat, is um, the backrest. So this is the backrest right here on the Harley seat. You probably know that. This sits on a fender, right? Um, this is just a mounting bracket. But as you can see, that seat is pushing forward. Even if I adjust this seat, right? At the end of the day, when this thing is in here, right, the seat is pushing forward, all right? One of the cool things that I really, really like about the Mustang seat is the backrest actually goes in here and it goes straight down. So you can adjust this. There's many ways to adjust it, but it's not pushing you forward. So at the end of the day, you get that inch and a half and the backrest sits back 
much more than the Harley now. Some people have said, hey, Bodine 52, there's another backrest. That's not the right backrest for that because I did take this off an older bike. They're not that much different, folks. They're not that much difference. So let's look at the quality. All right. Um, I, I will tell you that the difference on the look to me of the uh, the seat, and I actually did not do a do a measurement from here to here, and from here to here. But I will tell you, this is definitely wider to fit our big uh, our big bums. Um, I like that word bums. Um, but I will tell you that um, there is not that much difference. Obviously, you can order the seat in different styles um, with different stitching on it if you want. But overall, I do like the look of the Mustang seat from the top better. Um, but it's not that much of a difference. All right, now let's look at the detail of the uh, Harley seat. And you can kind of see um, just how this thing is actually not only put together but supported, right? Um, I guess these are kind of staples type thing and you can just see that while it's on there it just you know you, you the quality stuff you can sniff that out right now if you move over to the Mustang seat you can just see the quality of the stitching um, I'm assuming these are rivets in here just first class quality I mean just look at this where your mouth where it's coming onto the bike compared to the Harley. Um, just the quality of the seat itself um, is a tongue difference. And by the way, this tongue comes with a one year warranty. All right, folks, let's get the seat back on the bike, take it for a ride, and I'll tell you the rest of my thoughts on this Mustang seat. Well, if you follow my channel, many of you know that I have been uh trying to figure out how to uh, get a little distance on my 2018 Ultra Limited. Uh, from feeling like I was pushed too close, I've been on a little uh, uh, seat adventure for the last uh, two, three months. Ended up getting a tall boy seat, uh, demoed that for a ride, ended up getting one, didn't like it after a day, uh, came back, and, uh, and ultimately ended up with this uh, Mustang seat and you know as I was getting advice and talking to folks they um, man I'll tell you what it's like a pair of gloves or a helmet everybody said hey I love this one or I love this one mine's the best mine's the best so you know it was, it was a little hard to kind of figure them out and, and I really was had been looking at this seat uh, so I decided to take a chance on it because uh, this was seat number two, really, other than the stock one. And, I, uh, and you know, there are a couple things. One is, really wanted to make sure that um, I sat back far enough to get ex uh, leg extension. I'm six foot two, six foot three ish, um, as well as back support, and then still room for, for my bride on the back. And this Mustang seat, I will tell you, has fit the bill. So I actually. I did a couple videos, one on the uh, tall boy, and then when I first bought this seat, I did a kind of a first impressions, and I didn't really spend a lot of uh, time on it because I really didn't have a lot of miles, uh, seat miles on it, so I didn't want to, quite frankly, talk out a turn and guide somebody one way or the other potentially, and and then it not work out, so I waited. Um, and, and now, I will say that I have uh, ridden about 1,500 miles on the seat. Uh, just came back from an 1,100-mile trip. A lot of highway miles and a lot of back roads when we were there. So, um, really enough in my mind to at least tell you would I recommend this thing or not. Now, I know these seats have to break in a little bit. And that takes some time, so... Um, you know, that more time will tell, but uh, let me tell you my take so far. Um, now, you, you saw the introduction, and then you saw kind of the, the bench comparison of the two seats. Uh, did not compare it against the tall boy because, I returned the tall boy, but I, again, did a tall boy comparison as well to, to my stock seat. And I'll link that in the description. So if you are looking at a comparison between the tall boy and the Harley seat, uh, and then, of course, this video, you're going to be able to see uh, the Mustang seat versus the Harley seat. 
and uh, you've already watched those details you saw the measurements and I, and I will tell you overall uh, from a seating position perspective this seat is perfect it really is perfect um, you know I don't know if you can tell here but I have so much room now because of that inch and a half that I'm sitting back and it's even more than that I showed you in the video how the Harley seat backrest kind of kind of goes forward a little bit and and I know you can get different backrests but the one thing I like about this one as well is that backrest just comes straight up right so I feel like I even have more you know for the first time in a long time I'm really using my <laughs> pegs more because I feel stretched out now and I hadn't been for before so um so that's been fantastic. I will tell you, Mrs. Bodine's been on it twice. And um, if you happen to have a, a uh, stock seat from Harley, um, I will tell you, it's, it's really not a bad seat. Um, it's a bad seat, I think, over time. But I will tell you, from a comfort perspective in the um, passenger, uh, Mrs. Bodine calls it or called it her Gucci seat. And uh, so that was comfortable. Uh, there is no doubt that this seat is a little tighter for the passenger. Uh, it's only an inch or two. Mrs. Bodine says it is no big deal, so that's a good thing. Uh, but it, it, I'll tell you folks, it is like night and day. Alrighty folks, if, uh, if it looks like I'm going back the way I came, that would be because I am. Uh, the road I, route I wanted to take is uh, being tarred and chipped right now. Noticed that when I was out yesterday that they're doing that a lot in this area, which is not conducive to motorcycle riding. Big Mama, I'm not going to put her through that, so I'm going to just uh, take another route. Uh, but anyway, I will tell you that the seat um, for Mrs. Bodine is good. She likes it. Um, she does say that, hey, it's not as cushiony as the stock seat, right? Uh, of course, the stock seat was a little worn in for sure um, and just a little bit bigger. But the one thing, uh, again, that I don't like is the backrest um, adjustment is really like a knob. And I will actually take a picture of that and put it up right here. And, and that knob is to let the backrest uh, tilt backwards, right? It's a pretty cool place. Mrs. Bodine gets corn and tomatoes from there. Potatoes, tomatoes, all that fun stuff. Get some jelly and jam there. So um, so that bothers me a little bit. Um, but it doesn't, obviously doesn't impact the, the rider. But I was a little concerned if that would impact Mrs. Bodine. And she says, no, I don't even touch that. It's not a big deal. Um, so, so I'm good with that. Uh, and, it, and it's really not that big of a deal, except if you're one of those guys that gets off his motorcycle uh, on the low side, right? Um, and I, I will actually put the seat backrest down as I get off of it, right? Uh, you got to be a little careful to not scrape yourself on that uh, on that piece. Uh, but I will I will tell you, there's uh, there's. 50 things that I love about this seat and that one little thing that's a little annoying but not that big of a deal. So, um, But, you know, so the ride down went down to uh, Allegheny National Forest. Met a couple of uh, good buddies down there and, and did some riding. And I'll, and I'll tell you what, it was, I went from the rain to the, uh, to the extreme heat. So a bunch of different, I would say, fatigued uh, times as a rider. You know, obviously I stopped a lot to get water and made all those stops. But, you know, really one of those things that you're like, okay, hey, if I'm going to have a problem, you know, um, it was 350 miles each way. Um, you know, I'm definitely going to have, you know, some soreness or something. Folks, I had none of that. I mean, this is, it, it really has been a fantastic seat. Um and you know what? I just fully, fully, fully recommend this thing. You won't go wrong. Now, I don't know the exact numbers on the Tall Boy, but I think I bought the Tall Boy for I don't know, three fifty-ish maybe. I bought it from the House of Harley. 
because um, it was a little bit cheaper than the dealership. Normally, I do get stuff from the dealership just to support them, but uh, uh, the House of Harley was definitely cheaper on it. And, you know, a lot of times folks won't return seats. Uh, they were fantastic. I called them up, put it on for a day, and I said, hey, this thing just doesn't fit me. Uh, can I return it? And they said, absolutely. Send it back. So that was the 350th range. I think it was 349, if I remember. So getting this seat, which is an all-in-one seat with the backrest, um, I believe was right at $700. So, hey, it's almost double. It is double the price. Must have been 399 because it wasn't quite double. Um, but I will tell you, it was. it's totally, totally worth it. And if, if for any reason I ever change bikes, uh, the seat would be coming with it. And uh, in case you're interested in my stock seat or backrest, um, sorry, I'm going to keep that just in case something ever happens with the bike and I'm taking the seat off of this one so I don't have to go buy another one. So, Alrighty, folks, I will tell you what, that is it. If you're looking around for seats and I know you're hearing a lot of things, seeing a lot of different videos, for a guy that's been through three of them, I will tell you that the Maverick uh, seat has been fantastic. I love it, and I recommend it fully. So thanks for checking in the channel. Hope that helps you. Love to hear your comments on not only the Maverick seat, if you happen to have one, but any other seat that you love as much as I love this one that maybe will help some fellow brothers and sisters out as they're trying to find a seat for their motorcycle. Thanks, everybody. Be safe on and off the motorcycle. This is Bodine52 checking out. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.